In tonight's SWAT episode, Deke was thinking about quitting his job. But then, Luca got hurt. Luca had to leave the team because of it. Deke didn't want to leave his friends when they needed him the most, but he also had to think about his family. His family was having a hard time because both Deke and Annie were working. The kids were having a tough time because they were used to having someone around all the time. Deke couldn't ask Annie to quit her job because she had given up a lot for their family already. She had stopped going to law school when they got married and stayed home with the kids for years. But eventually, she realized she wanted to do more. Deke supported her decision to go back to law school because he knew it was important to her. He didn't want her to give up on her dream again. Annie always thought about Deke first. Now, it was Deke's turn to think about his family. He was torn because he didn't want his family or his team to suffer. Deke hadn't talked to Hondo about how he was feeling or about retiring. Hondo found out from Nichelle instead. Nichelle had lunch with Annie and they talked about Deke retiring. Annie didn't think it was a secret since it was the last thing Deke told her. Nichelle mentioned it to Hondo, thinking Deke had already told him, but Hondo hadn't heard anything from Deke. Hondo was surprised that Deke was thinking about retiring. Nichelle tried to play it down, but Hondo wasn't convinced. He talked to Deke about it when they were dealing with a hostage situation. Some people who are very worried about the end of the world took a waitress. These people were two brothers named Jeb and Grant Weber. Their whole family was worried about the end of the world. Jeb, one of the brothers, thought the government was going to fail. So he took his ex-girlfriend because he still loved her and wanted to protect her. But she knew he was acting strangely and didn't want to go with him. A sheriff's deputy tried to help, but the brothers shot him. Grant, the other brother, then held everyone in the diner hostage. Jeb took the ex-girlfriend away before he could be stopped. The SWAT team managed to stop Grant without anyone else getting hurt. They went to the Weber compound to find the ex-girlfriend. The place was heavily guarded with cameras and an electric fence. Calvin Weber, the father of Jeb and Grant, owned the place. There was no wife around. Infrared cameras showed there were four other people in the building besides Calvin, Jeb, and the ex-girlfriend. The SWAT team sent in a drone, but a man named Adam Edwards shot it down. Edwards was known for being violent and had a long history of breaking the law. There was a warrant for his arrest because he had shot his ex-wife earlier that day and taken their two kids. The ex-wife was fighting for her life in the hospital. The kids they saw in the house were probably his. Edwards was also dating the only daughter of Calvin, named Beth. But nobody in the family treated Beth well. Calvin didn't think she was as important as her brothers and treated her badly. Edwards would even hurt her if she ever questioned him or annoyed him. Beth became crucial when Deke and his team entered the house. They rescued Kat and Edwards' young son. Deke told the others to take care of the hostages while he went after Edwards' daughter. He saw her nearby and wanted to save her. But Calvin used her as a shield, and Edwards snuck up and grabbed Deke, holding him hostage. They threatened to kill Deke if the police didn't leave the property. They believed the world was ending and thought the police would give up if they waited long enough. They thought if they started stealing things, the police would have to leave. But Deke knew that wasn't true. The same goes for the journalist who has been getting ready to write a story about the family for a long time. The journalist had become friendly with Calvin. They sent her to the house to interview him. Tran went with her to film. He got video from inside the house and even of the entrance to the bunker. The journalist helped again by telling the team about Calvin's backup power system. Deke tried to run away but was caught. A gun went off, and that's when Deke got close to Beth. He told her about what happened to Edward's ex-wife and noticed bruises on her arm. His team checked on him after the gun went off and told him to aim for the fuse box. Deke got Beth to do it. She almost got caught, but she never tried to protect herself. Instead, she tried to protect the little girl. The Weber family all made it through when the police broke into the bunker. Edwards got killed. Hicks was going to speak well of Beth because they all believed she shouldn't go to prison. Tran got a date with the journalist, who was really pretty. Hondo and Deke talked about Deke retiring. They talked about it when the situation began and again after Deke got free. Deke said he still wasn't sure what to do. Hondo told him to pick what was best for his family, which was what Hicks said too and Powell later met her son for the first time. 